be showing you how to uh, make a grid line so uh, in which we can use this one to reposition our classes and object into our uh, game world so uh, in the previous video if you watch my previous video uh, I just show you an example how you can uh, easily uh, change the change the uh, background so but in this video uh, I show you another type of another class in which uh, we can use to draw a shapes and line so and even a grid line so uh, first we need to create a class okay so uh, let's just create where's a package and call it grid then inside of the grid packet packets we will create a new class and we just we will just name it true uh, just name it grid okay so okay so uh, let us just change uh, in the main class instead of new game we will change this uh, grid or oh, that is the name of our class and then let us just import grid ok uh, and then need um, to implement the uh, method okay so uh, okay we have a uh, a method that is implemented automatically So these are all uh, the method that is inherited from the uh, application listener. So if you know application listener uh, has also a method inside of its, of its class. So if you click, double click, if you try to look at the application listener class uh, interface, then we can see that application listener has a method okay uh, it has a method then the recess method which which, has, which take the the uh, in parameters and the other are void so uh, in our case we implement the application listener so uh, it also uh, add an implement method and Okay, so uh, to be able to uh, draw a grid, we need to uh, declare uh, first. Uh, we will make it static and then float, and this will be our width of our game world. I'll just say game world width. And then let us set it to 40. We'll we will create also our game world height. It's gonna be a 20 in size. Then uh, as usual we need the orthographic camera. We also need uh, a viewport. I name it viewport and a ship enter ship enter. Call it uh, this R, okay. Uh, 
you so need uh, boolean type and we call this true grid equals true and then the, the create method we will just initialize our camera graphic camera which uh, take no parameters we will just import the camera same as the viewport Okay. Let us also import the shape renderer. So. And then we will initialize our viewport. Port equals new bit viewport. Which take the uh, parameter uh, of our game board grid. So, board grid. Okay, and then we also need to pass the camera. So, and let us import the, the viewport class. So now uh, we also need to initialize the shape renderer. Let's take no parameters. Then in the resize method, we just still uh, to up to update our viewport. And then. We will pass the width parameter and height and then the render method we will set our projection matrix to camera to combine our camera combine and we will uh, uh, we will just uh, type the or we can just copy the this one to our grid and we, we can just say uh, we can just write in a state if statement if then we will draw our grid and it is a method then we will just create this method for drawing our grid okay. to do that uh, we just need the is the begin and uh, begin and end shift and drawer method so in and then the between of this begin and end field we just uh, set it to shape renderer shape type line line and we will set our color set our color to color of our line with a say white and again we did uh, and in this uh, in this line we will just declare another uh, integer and we will call we will call, call it old read and then we will we will cast an integer in the parameter to be able to use the already already declared field so in this yeah which in this uh, 
case is our game board and we will do also in our game height we will also pass the integer to use the declared build ready okay after that we will uh, uh, write a statement a for loop statement so this for loop statement we will write in x equals minus old width x is less than the height of our uh, game world so it's done world height and then we will increment the uh, rx then uh, this now we drew our line and then we pass the x x minus starting from the negative side from the from the left side we'll draw and then in the positive side also we'll draw okay and now we need to dispose our renderer so it's hard to dispose okay then let us check so now uh, we can try to run if it is working you can see uh, it, it was drawn in the x-axis direction and uh, with an equal offset okay so we we see that our world width are 40 40 world units and then we will also draw our y axis so to do that we just need another uh, roll up statement for int y equals minus world height Y is this then uh, word height then we will increment our y and then in the field of full of statement we just draw we will uh, draw the y axis line so we can just say word height height then the y axis and then the world height on the positive side then pass the y axis so what this mean is we starting drawing from the world height in the in below negative means below uh, below from the y coordinate so and then we will draw also in the uh, in the y positive so. so let us try if this has no one error and as you can see uh, we have our grid grid line so as you can see right here we have our grid line of, of 40 in the width then 20 in the height okay so uh, if you want to and you can see if we if we resize it is also resizable if you want to uh, we want also to draw another line uh, for the center so to do that we need another method this we will draw right here 
so is r that set uh, color and then the color dot uh, green okay. and then we will uh, draw is r that line Okay, so it is uh, we draw in x axis zero. Okay, starting from the zero in the x axis and minus forty three, minus forty three. Word with zero word okay, green right okay. and then let us try to run so as you can see uh, we drew it in the center in the y coordinate and uh, we also uh, do in the uh, horizontal so to do that we just need to write again this art set color 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 that uh, red Then is R that true? Is R that line? World height? Negative world height? Let us try. Let's try. Zero. Height. And zero. So let us try. So as you can see, uh, we drew it in the uh, center, in the center, because uh, shape renderer whenever you want to draw uh, some shape, uh, it will always uh, draw starting from the center. So, uh, for example, if I will uh, I will uh, draw some shape uh, which I am going to, to show you in the next tutorial so thanks for watching in this video I hope you learned something if you uh, do so then uh, please do subscribe and support my channel you can also uh, visit my page in patreon I will put the link in the description below so you can support me there if you want me to continue uh, developing a game or produce uh, more more quality content so thanks for watching guys see you in my next video